Hi, Jeff Girardi here with Go Engineer, and today we're going to talk a little bit about our PDM implementation process. With a little bit of planning, you can be successful deploying this system at your business. There are five main categories of implementation. Installation, administrator training, configuration, data migration, and end user training. Once you've decided that SOLIDWORKS PDM is the right tool for your business, we can get started by having a kickoff call with all the stakeholders involved. You'll typically want someone from IT, a CAD power user, and potentially people from management or other stakeholders involved as necessary. This gets everyone on the same page and sets expectations for the remainder of the project. We generally start off with installation. PDM is an on-premise client-server application that sits on top of a SQL database. There is an installation guide that ships with the software, so you're free to tackle that yourself. But most customers prefer to just provide us access to their Windows server, and we'll handle the installation of the database, application, and licensing ourselves. Before attempting any actual work on the system, we need to get some administrators trained up. Most customers place one or two people in charge of system administration. These are typically engineering power users, document control admins, uh, or other people familiar with your business process, typically not folks from IT. The administrator course is a three-day classroom training where day one we cover the end user experience and we walk through all of the capabilities of the system. Days two and three go back and reconfigure that same environment from scratch, setting up users, groups, permissions, data cards, workflows, etc., etc. Now that you've sat through three days of administrator training, you're in a much better position to make educated decisions about how the system should function for you. That's why we then go back to your office and kick off the configuration phase by conducting the business process workshop. Inside this workshop, we'll review how revisions get created, who's involved in that approval process, what custom properties are you interested in managing, and all of those details necessary to define how the system should be set up to function for you. We'll then go ahead and configure the system either for you or with you, depending on how much you can and want to be involved in that process, and run through use case testing and other testing to make sure that the system that we deliver functions exactly the way you expect it to. Now there's really two methods for loading in data. If you're just bringing in files and folders from Windows, and you have only one copy or the latest versions of files, I would call that data loading. It's something you can do yourself by copy, pasting, and checking in. If your data is coming from another source, say workgroup PDM or some other file management system, or if you have additional history of your files to deal with, or you need to restructure, rename, or add new custom properties as part of this migration, you probably want us to be involved at that point. We've developed tools and processes to streamline the loading of data and the loading of historical data into PDM. At this point, you still have to train end users how to use the system properly in order to be effective rolling out this tool. Most of the time, our customers take this project on internally, and the folks that went through the administrator class turn around and deliver the relevant end user content to the rest of the user community. Or, if you prefer, we can come in for half a day and train the users for you, providing PowerPoint and other supporting material that's specific to your vault configuration. Once the users are trained up, it's off to the races and you're ready to go live. When you partner with GoEngineer, we're committed to getting you up and running as quickly as possible. If you have any additional questions, please get in touch with your GoEngineer account manager. This has been Jeff Girardi. Thanks for watching.